Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the bald explorer, and today I'm looking for a gibbet, or at least the remains of a gibbet. I've done one of these walks before I've looked for gibbets. I'm on Ditchling Common in East Sussex, and um, I'm going to tell you the story of Jacob Harris and the murder of Richard Miles. A story that took place on Ditchling Common at a pub called the Wayside Inn. The Wayside Inn these days is the Royal Oak, but when I last drove past the Royal Oak it had closed, so I want to see if it's still there. I'm on Ditchling Common, which is in East Sussex. It's uh, close to Brighton, close to the village of Ditchling, near to Ditchling Beacon, which is on the South Downs, close to Haywards Heath and Burgess Hill, Withersfield and other places like that. The common here is pretty old, pretty ancient common land that people, commoners, were allowed to erect a house if they could within 24 hours, um, come and collect wood for their firewood and that sort of thing back in the day. Jacob Harris was a peddler in 1734, a Jewish peddler. He had, he had many different aliases and he was on hard times and like a lot of people in the, in the 18th century, for them life was tough and they, they had to make a living, they had to earn some money somehow and some resorted to violence to do so. Of course, you didn't have the police um, in the same way that you do have today, so people could get away with murder, quite literally. Well, this character, Jacob Harris, had been peddling his wares and he decided to break in to the Wayside Inn and try and steal some money, but he was interrupted by the landlord, Richard Miles. Richard Miles stopped him, but Jacob Harris produced a knife and stuck the knife deep into his throat, twice, two fatal wounds. But these wounds didn't kill him immediately and he called for help. His wife came bursting into the room. Jacob Harris realized that he was going to be seen and recognized because he was known in the area. And so he killed her. And the maid also was around screaming. She was murdered too. Richard Harris lay dying on the floor. He wasn't quite dead. And Jacob, sorry, Richard Miles was lying on the floor, not quite dead. And Jacob Harris scouted about, took his coat worth 10 shillings and a few other bits and pieces and made off. Well, soldiers went looking for him pretty swiftly because Rich, Richard Miles, bleeding, had given enough of the warning and the hue and cry went out. And so soldiers chased this peddler across Sussex towards Turner's Hill. And en route, he found a, a large house, broke inside that and hid inside the chimney. But there he was spotted. He was captured and then sometime later he was taken to trial in August at the Horsham Assizes in the old town hall there. They acquitted him for housebreaking, but they sentenced him to death for murder. And he was hung in chains. He was hung in chains at the, at the um, site of the crime by, by the um, pub. Well, I found, I found what's left of the Wayside Inn or the Royal Oak as its last incarnation was and it looks pretty abandoned and closed down. Let's go and have a look at it. I, clearly I can't, um, I can't get in it. Uh, there was a time when I visited and I could see a little bit of Jacob's post was actually being displayed and on the bar, just hanging above the bar. And people used to come and apparently if you touched it, it was supposed to give you good luck. Well, Unfortunately, the, uh, the Royal Oak or the Wayside Inn is no longer 
a viable a viable pub however I know that Jacob's post is close by and it's just a question of finding it so let's see if we can plod along the grassy verge here without getting ourselves knocked over by cars come over on this side I have visited the post once before about 10 years ago and it was a sod to find it's not really advertised but it's in here somewhere in this sort of thicket of grass but it's not exactly inviting this road would have been I suppose the road to Brighton and going over Ditchling Hill so people would have passed this and seen the post and seen the gibbet and the remains of Jacob Harris. Now, I just feel I ought to traverse into the woods, which is not an easy thing to do. There's brambles and there's nettles and all sorts of stuff. But somewhere, again, it's like the other post. I had a lot of trouble trying to find that. There seems to be some vague path here. I'm struggling to find it this time. So it may be that it's, it has gone. It was in here somewhere. It has a, a cockerel on the top of the marker post. But, um, just don't seem to be able to find it. We'll go a little further. Well I know it wasn't it wasn't far off the road and it really wasn't that difficult to find but 10 years is a long time. It is a bit of our heritage and it's not marked. There's no signpost to it, there's no reference to it, it's if you know about it and if you can be bothered to find it. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Up here, have a look at this. There it is, 1734. And the story is recorded on this board just here. So, it is actually recorded, I forgot that it was recorded, but there it is, Jacob's Post, the place where the felon was hung in chains so his body could be seen by all those who passed to realise that you meddle with the law and this is what will happen to you. Great. I'm thrilled to have found it. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my video and give me a thumbs up. Make a comment. Do you know of a gibbet that's near you? Should I go and visit it? I'd be thrilled to. Until the next time, take care. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now. Now, how the hell do I get out of this place? <laughs>